Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Derek Sims, Chairman of the Roxbury Area Chamber of Commerce. I'd like to welcome everyone here to this commemorative ribbon cutting to recognize the exciting changes happening at Person Memorial Hospital with the reopening of the ECU and front lobby following a recent renovation and the addition of the new MRI full-time scanner. At this time, I'd like to uh, recognize some elected officials. First, I'd like to invite Mayor Marilyn Newell to speak on behalf of the City of Roxbury. Thank you, Derek. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Before I forget, I'd like to recognize my other council member who is present, Mark Phillips. If you please raise your hand. Are there any other city council members that I couldn't spot? Okay, I think I've covered everyone. But it's a wonderful time to be at the hospital today, and we're so excited about the renovations and improvements they have made in the last 18 months. You know, you can tell the health and life of a facility like this by how well it's kept. And we have certainly been in great hands through all these many years when most of us remember when it was you know, much less than this. And we are so excited that the Duke Life Point program has seen the validity of our hospital and certainly recognized the benefit of keeping it in wonderful shape, inviting for our customer, their, their customers and patients, and just know that we're so excited that the hospital here in Roxburgh and Person County is still alive, vibrant, and growing. So we appreciate the effort that all of you have endured for the last 18 months with construction and the mess that happens with that and relocations that I'm sure had to take place. We thank you so much for your commitment to health and wellness in our community and wish you many years to come. Congratulations. Thank you, Marilyn. At this time, I'd like to invite Chairman uh, David Newell to speak on behalf of the Person County Board of Commissioners. Thank you, Derek. Uh, on behalf of the county commissioners and especially the citizens of Person County, I would like to thank Person Memorial and Life and Duke Life Point for making this investment. Now, what they just spent was uh, hadn't been mentioned, but it's a considerable sum. And what that shows us is they're here to stay, and uh, we appreciate that. I don't think anybody would like to see this place closed. So it's, uh, I think the administration has it going in the right direction and otherwise they wouldn't have made this investment. So on that behalf of the county and the citizens, I'd like to thank them for that. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. At this time, I'd like to invite uh, Bimo Shaw to speak. So much. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to say uh, good evening and thank you for sincerely joining us on this auspicious occasion. Uh, many of the sentiments that have just been shared with you um, could not be more true to this community. We are here to stay, and that is unequivocally the truth. Um, before I begin, I do want to especially thank the Roxborough Chamber of Commerce um, for their continued support of our organization as well as their unwavering commitment to this community and our local business community throughout Person County as well as Roxborough. As a, as a community. So thank you sincerely, Alicia, Derek, thank you and the board for their support of our organization. As I candidly reflected upon this great milestone today, a milestone that's been more than a year and a half in the making and several million dollars worth of investment for this organization, I really felt it was important to focus on the impact that our organization and our services can have upon a community. Uh, as you've heard with evolving healthcare landscape, it's becoming more and more apparent that hospitals are a treasured asset in every single community that they serve. They're an asset that cares for the safety net um, of our communities and also caring for the most vulnerable citizens um, of our communities at the most critical time of need. Um, hospitals are often the largest employ employers in the community and they are an economic growth engine for a community of our size. They're places of great innovation, medical breakthroughs, and above all, they're places for excellent patient care. And I sincerely believe and on behalf of our medical staff, our board of trustees, and our leadership, and, and the 300 plus employees in this organization, that could not be more embodied than in, in this relationship that we have with Duke Life Point. That has not only stabilized our organization, but helped to create progress for us in this community since 2011. Um, with the renovations here in our front lobby, our extended care unit, as well as a brand new MRI scanner that um, hopefully you'll have an opportunity to see today, Person Memorial has furthered its commitment to this community and each and every patient and family member that comes through that door every single day. 
Um, we undoubtedly recognize that, as I mentioned before, we have 300 plus employees strong and growing every single day. And none of this would be possible without their unwavering commitment to compassionate, high level and high quality care, as well as the support that our talented advisory board and our physicians and our auxiliary provide to this organization each and every day. But they do so while upholding the mission of First Memorial Hospital, and that's to make this community healthier. Um, with such a dynamic foundation and a strong engine for growth for the future, I am confident, we are confident, uh, that First Memorial Hospital is poised for growth um, well beyond this year and well into the future. We have more capital improvements coming to this organization in the near and long term. So there's a lot of excitement ahead for us. Um, in closing, I sincerely want to thank and congratulate each and every member that has made today possible for us, that has made these projects come to fruition for this organization. Um, and please know that today's ribbon cutting is really just a sim symbol of what's to come. It's a symbol of our faith in this community. It's a symbol of our faith in all the leaders that we have in this organization, the frontline staff that care for all the lives that come through this door each and every day. So thank you everyone for coming out tonight, and thank you for all that you do to support our organization and for making Roxborough home for us in Person County. And as we have always said, it's together that we are Person. So thank you again for your time this evening, and please enjoy this festivity this evening. Maybe at this time, I'd like to present you with a plaque, and I'll read it to you. Certificate of Recognition, Ribbon Cutting Celebration, April 20th, 2016. This Certificate of Appreciation is awarded for distinction to Person Memorial Hospital. This certificate is presented to Person Memorial Hospital in recognition of their continued investment in the Person County community and with their newly renovated ECU and front lobby and addition of the new MRI scanner. Thank you for continuing to provide such valuable services to the people of Person County. Signed by me, Charles Derrick Sims. Thank you. Okay, with that, uh, we will now do the ribbon cutting. So your staff will come up and we will... Uh, Derek, before we do that, I'd like to mention, they attempted and accomplished all of this while this man here became a new father. <laughs> 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 We'll get your staff up here, whoever you want. We've got some free citizens here. We need more. We've got a lot of free citizens. We've got that. Here. Yeah. Step behind the living room. We need someone to hold a bouquet. <laughs> there we go. I'll do my best. Hi. So the pictures look great. <laughs> there. Fill in and squeeze in tight. Derek, you can get a string of it there. And we'll take a hold of it. This will give us one, two, three. Okay. Oh, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, on the count of three. One, two, three, cut. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Stand there for just a second. I couldn't quite see Claudia, so let's do a group photo while everyone's together. <laughs> Okay, one more time. One, two, three. Okay, just had to make sure we could see everybody. Uh, before I proceed with any more, I'd like to mention that Mike Woodard is here with us today. So thank you, and I uh, appreciate you coming. Um, again, congratulations again to everyone at Person Memorial Hospital for exciting renovations and additions taking place. We appreciate the investment you continue to make in our community and the service you provide to our citizens. Uh, one announcement from the Chamber is save the date for the annual uh, Chamber Joe Weinberger Golf Tournament on Friday, May 20th at Roxborough Country Club. We are currently accepting team and whole sponsorship <coughs> uh, registrations. And to learn more about how to be a part of this event, contact the Chamber Office at 336-599-8333. This concludes our ceremony. I thank everyone for coming out. And again, thank you for everything you've done. Thank you. Thank you. All right.